Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I will be walking you through all the ways to communicate with your orbit for device management. As shown here, there are five primary ways to communicate with the device, the serial console, the web HTTP and HTTPS interface, the USB serial console, SSH, and NetConf. I will cover the first four in this video, and NetConf will be done separately. First is Serial Console. Serial involves an RS-232 serial connection from a PC to the unit's COM port. Maximum recommended cable length for a serial connection is 50 feet, or 15 meters. Launch a terminal communications program, such as PuTTY, with the communication parameters 115-200 BPS, default speed, 8 bits, no parity, 1 stop bit, otherwise known as 8N1, and flow control disabled. Incorrect parameter settings are a frequent cause of connection difficulties. By default, COM1 is enabled as the console port. The command line will be presented to the user after the connection is made. The command line is based around the Juniper command line structure. Those with basic switching and network experience may find this method of management more intuitive. Next is the USB serial console. If no serial port exists on a PC, then a mini USB cable may be connected between the MCR's USB device port and the PC. It also requires that the gadget serial drivers to be installed on the host PC. Once a connection is made, the device will auto-bot. This means that the user does not have to configure the terminal emulator to any specific baud rate. The user will be presented with the same command line interface as the serial console, and all behavior, appearance, and commands used are exactly the same. SSH uses the secure shell protocol over Ethernet cables or over-the-air connections. Any traffic passed between the management PC and the Orbit MCR will be encrypted. This makes it very secure. It's important to note that Telnet support has been removed. This is because Telnet does not encrypt any traffic and leaves the user vulnerable to man-in-the-middle spy attacks. Launch an SSH client program and connect to the unit using its programmed IP address. SSH can be connected to the unit from any network point that has connectivity with a PC, including remotely over the internet or using other networks. Again, the user will be presented with the same command line interface as the serial and USB console. All behavior, appearance, and commands used are exactly the same, except that all data is transmitted over Ethernet. A web-based user interface is also available for this product. The web interface provides an intuitive graphical facility, well suited for many simple routine configuration and control tasks. Web management uses the unit's Ethernet RJ45 connector. Requirements are as follows. A PC with a web browser program installed. An Ethernet cable connected between the PC and the MCR. The MCR's IP address. The default address for a factory supplied unit is 192.168.1.1 and also the username and password for the unit. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.